after looking at homogeneous equations and realizing that we can make a substitution to the equation to make it into a separable equation, it begs the question, are there other substitutions we can make to make more complex differential equations into simpler differential equations that we already know how to solve? Well, as you might expect, the answer is yes. There's quite a few different types of substitutions we can make to simplify more complex differential equations. We're going to look at another one of those today with what are called Bernoulli equations. We're going to ask the question, how do we solve Bernoulli equations? And the first step, as always, with differential equations is you have to identify that we are working with a Bernoulli equation. So what is a Bernoulli equation? A Bernoulli equation is of the form y prime plus p of x times y equals q of x times y to the n. And what you probably notice here is that that almost looks like it's linear. Linear equations did not have the y to the n at the end. But now we're going to have y to some exponent on the other side of the equation. So now we just have a y to the n power at the end. And what we said was it was linear because there were no exponents, especially on the y's. So it would be nice if there was some substitution we could make that would simplify this equation into a linear equation, because we already know how to solve those. And that is going to be our strategy. Our strategy is going to be to let u equal y to the 1 minus n to make the equation linear. And as you might expect, if we've got a u, we need to also do a du, which is going to be equal to 1 minus n times y to the negative n, just taking the derivative, times the derivative of y using the chain rule, y prime. Or you could say dy. Well, let's look at what that does for us then. The original equation was y prime plus p of x times y equals q of x times y to the n. Notice in front of the y prime in our du equation is 1 minus n times y to the n. We're going to multiply both sides by that, 1 minus n times y to the negative n. Because when we do that, when we distribute through, we get 1 minus n times y to the negative n times y prime. All of that is what we said was our du, or our u prime. In fact, that's probably a better way to say it, u prime. Prime notation works better for linear. As we continue to distribute, we end up with 1 minus n times p of x. And notice what happens when we take the y to the negative n times the y. Then it becomes y to the 1 minus n. But y to the 1 minus n, we said, was equal to u. So now we've got a u equals, we've got a q of x. We've got a 1 minus n. But notice when the y's get multiplied together, they become y to the 0 power, or just 1. Now the equation is linear. And we can use all of this stuff in front of the u to find the integrating factor. And this strategy actually is much easier to do with numbers and functions than it is abstractly. So let's try a few examples of Bernoulli equations. 
The first example we're going to do is 2xy y prime equals 4x squared plus 3y squared. First, we don't like the y prime to have all that stuff with it. So we're going to divide everything by 2xy all the way across. And when we do that, we end up with y prime equals 2x times y to the negative 1 plus 3 over 2x times y. Well, we like the y term to be on the left, so I'll subtract it. So we have y prime minus 3 over 2x times y equals 2xy to the negative 1. And notice this, then, is almost linear. The difference is we've just got that y to the negative 1 on there. That's going to be our substitution. Our substitution is u equals y to the 1 minus whatever exponent is sitting on y, which in this case is negative 1, which gives us y squared. Then the derivative of u is u prime. The derivative of y squared is 2y times y prime. That stuff in front of y prime is what I'm going to use to multiply both sides of the equation by. When I multiply both sides by 2y and I distribute, we get 2y times y prime. That's all equal to u prime. Minus, distribute the 2 through. We'll get to the y in a second. Distribute the 2 through, and it reduces. So we have 3 over x. y times y is y squared. But we see up above that y squared is equal to u. So u equals. 2x times 2 is 4x. And notice the y's divide out to 1. So we're just left with 4x. And now I have a linear equation left for me to solve. We know linear equations. We have to find our integrating factor. So we'll integrate negative 3 over x dx, which is going to be negative 3 times the natural log of x. And I'll bring that negative 3 in as an exponent. So therefore, my integrating factor is e to the natural log of x to the negative 3, which is just x to the negative 3. With linear equations, we know we multiply both sides by that x to the negative 3. When we do, the left side becomes x to the negative 3 times my variable u, the derivative of the product, is equal to. And when we multiply on the right side, we get 4x to the negative 2. Now, in order to solve, we just have to integrate both sides dx, which gives us x to the negative 3u equals x to the negative 1 times negative 4 plus a constant. Clear out that x cubed by multiplying x cubed on both sides to get rid of the negative exponent. It gives us negative 4x squared plus the constant times x cubed. And now all we have to do to finish this out is substitute back. Remember at the top, we said u was equal to y squared. So for our final implicit solution, y squared is negative 4x squared plus cx cubed. And we've got our solution. Now, all of that in red should have been review of solving linear equations. The new part is really identifying the Bernoulli equation and making that blue and green substitution step to make it work so I could use my old methods of linear equations. Let's try one more example, make sure we're really good at these. Let's do xy prime plus 6y equals 3xy to the 4 thirds. We don't like to have something in front of the y prime, so we'll just divide everything by x real fast. That'll give us y prime plus 6 over xy 
equals 3y to the 4 thirds. Notice it is almost a linear equation. We just have the y to the 4 thirds. That's going to become our substitution. u is equal to y to the 1 minus 4 thirds gives us y to the negative 1 third as our substitution. u prime, its derivative then, is negative 1 third y to the negative 4 thirds times y prime. And I see all this stuff in front of y prime is what I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by, negative 1 third y to the negative 4 thirds on both sides. When I do that, it builds into a real nice function. Distributing the first part, we get negative 1 third y to the negative 4 thirds y prime. That's all u prime. Positive times a negative is going to be a negative. 6 over 3 will reduce to 2 over x. And y to the negative 4 thirds times y gives us y to the negative 1 third, which we should recognize y to the negative 1 third is u equals negative 3 times a third is 1. And the y's simplify to y to the 0 or 1. So we just have equals negative 1. And this becomes my nice linear function or equation that we can solve. We should be really good now at identifying the integrating factor. Negative 2 over x dx is going to become negative 2 times the natural log of x, which gives me x to the negative 2. Therefore, my integrating factor is e to that power, which simplifies to x to the negative 2. So we'll multiply both sides by x to the negative 2, which on the left will be the derivative of the product, x to the negative 2 times my variable u equals negative x to the negative 2. Integrating both sides dx will give us x to the negative 2u equals, scrolling up to see my substitution, because I'll need that in a minute, x to the negative 1 times a negative 1, makes the negative go away, plus c. Multiplying both sides by x squared to clear out the x to the negative 2 gives us x plus cx squared. And now I'm ready to make my substitution to go back. And we see y to the negative 1 third, which is our u, equals x plus cx squared. Or if you really want to find the implicit solution, we raise everything to the negative third power. That gives me y equals 1 over x plus cx squared cubed. Either one of those should work just fine. Again, the solving of a linear equation should be review. The new part is just identifying the Bernoulli with that extra y to the n at the end of the problem. Making a substitution where u is equal to 1 minus that exponent changes it to something we already know how to solve. So now it's your turn to practice some of these. Let me know if you have any questions. Good luck.